Welcome into Taylor Kitchen. I have a super easy dish for you, but this actually looks so impressive. It's chicken in paper. You can also do fish in paper, different proteins, same concept. But the cool thing about this is you wrap everything in a piece of parchment paper and it's beautiful as a presentation to company when they come over, but it's also really fun for kids because it's like they get their dinner in a little gift bag which is so fun, and they can even assemble their own, which makes them more inclined to eat what you put on the table. So let's get started because this is so easy. You're not gonna believe it. Just a handful of ingredients, and I'm starting, I have two chicken breasts here. I'm gonna make two portions, one for Tim, one for myself, and then your vegetables of choice to go on this. So I've got, I have some onion, and I just wanna slice my onion in thin half moon shapes. Um, and this is a red onion. I chose it purely for the color because you're gonna see when this whole thing comes out of the oven, just it's just beautiful the way the vegetables roast down and you have something really special in front of you. So that's, that's plenty of onion. That's way more than I need. And let me grab my box grater because that's what I'm gonna use for my carrot and my zucchini. All right, I'm gonna start with my zucchini and I think I just want long slivers. Ah, oven's ready. I just put it on 350. This is going to kind of cook low and slow and probably less than 30 minutes. I shouldn't even say slow because it's gonna be ready in no time at all. There's some zucchini. And then for the carrot, I think I'm going to grate my carrot um, and we'll just do it in a box grater as well. Super easy. You could grate the zucchini also. I'm just kind of wanting different shapes for this. It's not necessary, but whatever's easiest for you. All right, so there's a lovely pile of veg ready to go. And I buy organic carrots, and as long as the exteriors don't look a little tatty, you can use the skin. The skin is actually very nutritious, so don't dump the skin. Put it right in as long as you give it a good scrub before you use it. All right, I'm gonna make a little space here. I'm going to make my first parcel. So parchment paper. This is unbleached parchment paper. I use it all the time. I buy it in, I think my packs of 100 are, are how it comes, the ones that I buy. And so um, I will link to that below because I find parchment paper so indispensable. And all I'm gonna do is first put my chicken breast down on my parchment, put it on the upper half center of the parchment because you're gonna fold this over and make a beautiful little package. And I want to salt and pepper this. Actually, I almost forgot. I bought some rosemary salt at the farmer's market that I wanted to try because at this point, any seasonings that you wanna use, you can use. If you have a flavored olive oil, by all means use that. So this is rosemary salt. It's gonna make a really good seasoning for this chicken. But if you like spicy, you could add some chili flake. And here go down my red onions. And then a mound of carrot. And then my zucchini. Oh, that's really pretty, pretty, pretty. And then some olive oil and a wee bit more salt and pepper. Just every layer kind of needs its own flavor. There we go. And just a wee bit more of this rosemary salt. I bought a few of these seasonings from Home Skillet Provisions at my local farmer's market. All right, then I'm going to fold this over and starting from the corner, I'm just going to twist and fold and twist and fold, kind of like you're sealing up a pie crust. And you could actually add a little bit of white wine into this too, would be delicious, but I'm gonna keep it so simple because really the way it turns out is totally up to you. All right, so you see this package and it's gonna go onto my baking sheet. Woo. Having the cute little package is just absolutely gorgeous. All right, we're gonna put these in our oven 
I'm gonna guess 20, these are pretty thick chicken breasts, thicker than I thought, maybe 25 minutes for these guys, and then I will show you what they look like. You're gonna be impressed. Yeah, please take a moment to subscribe and turn on notifications to our YouTube channel. Click that bell icon below to make sure you get all the latest from us. And also leave a comment and give us a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel and we truly appreciate you. And check out TK Foodie for this recipe and a lot more. Look at those, they're out of the oven. They puff up just a little bit because of the steam that rises. It's rising and then it's falling back on that chicken and imparting so much flavor. To serve, you would put one on a plate like so almost too big for my plate. And then I like to take, carefully, because this is super steamy, I like to take scissors and just snip the top with an X. That way. And then, once they've cooled slightly so that your guests don't get steam burned, you don't want them to remember your meal that way. Then you start tearing it open. Oh, that parcel is gorgeous. And the paper is so fun. If you can see, that steam is just rising out of there and it's beautiful. All those veggies have cooked down and the chicken should be perfectly done and tender. You can actually eat it just like this or you can remove it from its parcel and put it on your plate. Whatever you wanna do. Kids might like eating out of the bag. Maybe adults would wanna switch it up, but let's give this a taste. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna cut right down into the middle. The chicken is moist and super tender and this just smells heavenly. All right, get a little bit of everything on my fork. Mmm, oh wow. <laughs> that is indeed delicious. The rosemary salt really added to this, but all the flavors of the onion and the carrot, the slightly sweet and that zucchini, they all just kind of marry into one homogenous flavor with the chicken and the olive oil just kind of makes this beautiful little sauce, uh, brothy sauce to go with the chicken. So you have got to give this one a try. You're gonna love it. Your kids are gonna love it. I mean, think about this, if you just even do the chicken with some barbecue sauce and when you package it up like this, it's so good. You can do this in foil and put it on the grill. I love the presentation with this parcel wrapping. So it's so cute for your guests to open or your kids to open or anyone to open. I enjoy it. So anyway, Check out tkfoodie.com for this recipe and a whole lot more.